Hi guys, this is John from Meatgistics University, and this is Jerky 103, Best Cuts for Making Jerky. One of the great things about making jerky is that it can be made from almost any animal and any cuts. However, that doesn't mean that all cuts are created equal. Here are a few of the best cuts for making your own homemade jerky from beef. Now, what we're looking for is a good sized muscle with a limited internal fat content. If the cut generally has a fat cap, that's not necessarily a detractor as we just need to remove whatever that fat cap is and just concentrate on there being limited fat marbling inside the meat as that's gonna be where the problem is. Now that obviously is if you're using a whole muscle cut. If on the other hand you're doing restructured jerky then you do wanna use something that's got both low internal and external marbling unless you wanna do the same thing and cut off your fat cap before you begin your grinding. Perhaps the best cut of meat to make whole muscle jerky is the top round. This is the largest muscle in the hind leg and it's very lean with a fine grain which already makes it perfect for making jerky. But another good quality is that the cut is simple to cut across the grain with a slicer and it does it really nice. Now eye of the round is a smaller muscle in the hind quarter that's usually really tough. It can have a larger grain to it, but it works well when cut into strips for making jerky. If it has a fat cap on it like these ones do, it just needs to be trimmed really well before you go to make your jerky. Another good cut is a flank steak. It's low in fat, usually three ounces of it will have somewhere around six grams of fat in fact. And the fact that it's a tougher cut means that it's usually a little bit less expensive at your butcher or grocery store. Now a silver tip is a little bit harder to find. It's taken from the shoulder and is a really fine grain. Because it's a heavily used muscle, it can be fairly tough. All around, this is an excellent cut for making whole muscle jerky when it's available. Hanger steaks were inexpensive until somewhat recently. Americans became aware of this tasty cut and started looking for it in more than just restaurants. The problem with that is that unlike almost every other cut like fillets and rounds, there's only one hanger steak per animal and it's fairly small in size. So it can be difficult to keep enough of them in inventory for even the best butchers and grocery stores. Now, especially since it's a really tender steak, for the reason the price has increased year over year, and that was once a great choice for jerky, it's starting to just price itself right out of the game, and it's almost not worth it to use it anymore, even though it does make excellent jerky. Now, if you're wanting to make a reformed jerky, you're gonna need to have some form of ground beef. The problem is that ground beef from the store is going to usually be somewhere around 80 to 20 fat to lean ratio. That's really higher than what you want. Your best bet is to grind up a leaner cut at home and then put it through a 3 8 plate and then a 1 8 plate. If you don't have a way to do this, look for something in a 93 to 7 lean to fat ratio. This is usually a little bit more expensive, but can definitely be found at almost any grocery store. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Meatgistics University, and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos, or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Check out our latest sales and giveaway video here, or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.